Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another bullet journal set up for you and I already announced on social media that I will change it up a little bit for this one. So I'm super stressed out. I'm not relaxed at all and I don't have time for anything. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a super minimalistic setup and super minimalistic spreads. And I think a lot of you can relate to this and there are so many people out there that often comment that they don't have time to draw and I think this is a really good one for you guys, so let's do this! At first I wanted to show you guys what I actually used for the setup and as you can see I did not use as many supplies as in my previous one, so please keep us in mind that I will link everything in the info box down below and that you can also do like this type of setup for every month. So yeah, I'm very, very late with this one. I got an incredible bad cold when I was in Finland and Helsinki and I was just not able to do this voiceover for so long and I still sound a little bit off, so I'm very sorry for that. This was indeed my May setup, but you can use this type of setup for any month that you like and especially for June or July. We have plenty of summer months left and I think if you have a season like this, it's sometimes quite hard to come up with a seasonal drawing or something for a cover page. Something that is very minimalistic and that you can use for almost every month throughout the whole year is really really nice to have. So the super simple border is something you can just use basically every month that you like. So next up I just go ahead with all my trackers and I really really strip down on habit trackers and other things that are not that necessary because as I mentioned I don't have that much time this month and the only thing I have done so far is my sleep log and I mean today we are almost like 22 days in and I can tell you I have not filled out one single day of the sleep log but the good thing and this is why I only did this tracker is I have my Fitbit so I can just easily fill it out at one day one day at a time and just fill in like all the blanks so that's nice. The next page is my intentions tracker and that's more or less something that I use um, similar to a habit tracker. I just write down some intentions and goals self-care wise and yeah that's that's all. I can just fill it out whenever I just cannot fill it out. It doesn't really matter because the goals are there for all of you to see and if I don't really journal there it's not that bad. So the next big thing in this setup is the weekly spread and I combine this one with my brain dump. You don't really have to do this but I think it's really handy because I do this running to-do list for the whole week and then if I have just something that I don't really know where to put it yet or I don't know when the deadline is then I can just put it in the brain dump and swap it in or out whenever. So the next thing I do for my productivity is to decide on three tasks that are the main focus for that day or for that week and then I just put little numbers beside them. And yeah, this way I always know which of the tasks I should do first and yeah, that's it. I think that's really, really handy so you have the perfect overview and it was super fast and easy to do. Let's do a little overview. That's my cover page. I really like it and I think sometimes the simple things are just the best. And the sleep log, yeah, let's see, I will show you the filled out version in a couple of weeks. And then my brain dump and my weekly spread is very handy, very easy to do as well. And that's all. So for comparison, I will show you my April setup now. It's so much more detailed and colorful and yeah, little knickknacks and yeah, just some nice illustrations and especially my habit tracker, whoa in comparison to my non-existent habit tracker especially, but yeah. I really like how this page turned out. In the end, it's always super satisfying if you have a page like this or a spread like this filled out, but it also kinda yeah, annoys me when I have a page like this and I don't fill it out throughout the month, then I think it's not really good for my motivation and for my stress levels. So I just decided to strip it out of my setup and as you can see here, I did more or less the same weekly spread, but with the type of font that I use, it looks more fancy and it takes more time to do this. Yeah, and that's it. 
I think it was especially helpful to see my April setup in comparison to my new one because you can really kind of figure out what you can strip out, what you don't really need and how you can adapt a very fancy setup. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people often comment that I don't have time for anything and I know sometimes I am the same and I mean the first priority should be to get yourself back together and make some time for yourself because you're the most important person for yourself. But yeah, it doesn't always work out, not at the first try. So yeah, that was it. Um, please let me know in the comments how your bullet journal setup evolves when you have a more stressful time in your life. And if it's your first time here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, maybe even hit the little notification bell. And see you guys very soon. I'm planning on doing more videos on this channel now. I will aim for once a week. Um, I don't want to promise too much, but yeah, if you also want to see some of my German videos, I will link my channel down below as well. And see you guys very, very soon. Bye.